Welcome to my Stop Fighting With Your Son podcast. If this is your first time here, I recorded four episodes especially for you to help you eliminate the fights right away and start connecting with your boy as soon as possible. Go to episodes 54 through 59. I have four boys of my own and I know better than anyone how much you want to have a good relationship with your boy and all the things that can come in your way. If you are a mom of boys, I am the coach for you. Let's go. Hello, my friends. How are you all doing? I am sitting in the car enjoying my nice little coffee and thinking about all of you and have this question for all of you today to ask you that I actually borrowed from Mark Manson. He wrote this book called... um, the art of not giving a fuck and so it's an awesome book i loved it and but before i read the book i actually found his article uh, and the article was talking about how to find your purpose in life and one of the filters that he suggests that you ask yourself in order to find your purpose is this question is what kind of uh, shit sandwich are you willing to eat Right. So in in terms of what is it that you want to do? So for for example, let's put it in perspective with little kids. One of my clients came to me and said, oh, my gosh, I was, you know, baking with my two and my four year old. And I just I just kept, um, you know, saying no to them. And at the end, I, I ended up yelling at them. And I just don't want to them to think they have a crazy mother. And I just don't want, you know, to have such a relationship with them. And so when you look at that, when you look at uh, people or you doing something with little kids, the shit sandwich that you're going to have to be willing to to eat is you losing your mind with little kids because they're little kids, right? And your natural reaction, human reaction will be to have thoughts and feelings that are not pretty because again, you're you're with little kids. You know, you can, of course, change your thoughts Uh, But I don't advise that because it doesn't stick. It it it's not a long term solution because when you are with little kids, your primitive brain kicks on and you are making sure they're safe. When your primitive brain kicks on and you're making sure they're safe, you are not acting as your highest self. So what I would plan on doing is planning on you being human which means you are not your best self, right? And that's not all the time, of course. This is just part of you doing something with little kids will be very human, will be not pretty, will be not perfect. And that's the shit sandwich that you have to be willing to eat if you're going to engage in some activity with your little kids. That's my belief. And now... I always, right, through experience and through trial and error, I, when I, before I decide to, to do something with little kids, I know that, you know, it won't be perfect. And also, I'm no, not going to be perfect. And if I'm okay with that, I try to get to be okay with that so that then I'm not surprised by the whole mess and by me being frustrated. And as I get to be okay with my human part, with that shitty part of parenting little kids, guess what happens? I actually become nicer, a nicer mom, because I'm not so upset about being upset at the kids. Or do you see what I'm saying? So it's almost like I, my expectation of the experience is this. I expect it to be super messy. I expect them to do all the kid stuff that the little kids do. And I also expect me to get frustrated. And I expect me to get impatient. And then when all of that happens, I am calm. Interesting, right? So I'm, I am frustrated and I am um, impatient, but I'm also not reacting to those feelings as much because I expected them to be there. And so I'm just uh, witnessing 
witnessing my kids being messy, and I'm also witnessing my head being frustrated and impatient. And I am a calm mom, right? And of course, you know, it doesn't go perfectly as well, me witnessing this. Sometimes I do react to my frustration. But if I do expect my human part, I do expect that shitty sandwich to be there, then I'm such a better mom and I am showing up for my kids the way I want to show up. So in terms of you and your little kids and uh, how you want to show up for them, what kind of shit sandwich are you willing to eat? I know it's a terrible analogy, but it worked for me, so I'm hoping it'll work for you. Actually, it's a great analogy because uh, there's different shit sandwiches that we... (laughs) This is a lot of... (laughs) shit word but with different activities there comes different sandwiches right so with cooking baking with little kids that's like a whole uh, one package right with uh, painting with little kids that's like my least favorite activity is painting with them because uh, it gets super messy and I just I have to be really up for the mess for for me to say yes to them But there's other activities that we are totally up for because we are willing to put up with the negative part of it that will for sure happen. Like, you know, taking little kids outside. The shitty part for me is getting them dressed and ready. Because I'm in Canada and it's super cold. Maybe in Florida it's super easy, right? But um, so... Each time you want to engage in something with your little kids, ask yourself that. Am I willing to do this shitty part to to do this activity? And have that conversation with you, with yourself, and be honest. And sometimes the most powerful thing that I have ever done, and I really encourage you, is saying no. No, I am sorry. I love you, and we're not painting right now. I want to be a nice mom to you and we're not going to paint because I love you too much. Do you see do you see how I do that? I think the mo- the best thing I've ever done is say no to my kids when I know for sure I am not in a good position to handle this kind of stress right now. And then I am a lot nicer to them and to myself when I do that and I'm actually a lot a lot better person because I when I say yes to those things, I'm actually on board and I follow through and I show up as a nice mom. So what kind of shit sandwich are you? I just can't, I just can't get over that, that, uh, how it sounds, the shit sandwich, but I think it's a powerful question. What kind of shit sandwich are you willing to, uh, to eat, to do stuff with your kids, right? So I hope that's helpful to you guys. This is for all of you with little kids. Little Life with little kids is kind of like touching a burning stove. <laughs> you, you have to expect the burn to be there. You can't just expect it to be pretty, right? You have to expect to be like, ow. That was that was hard. That was painful. Of course, little kids are super cute and you love them so much and you want to snuggle them. Like I, I still have two five-year-olds. I love them so much. They're still little. Um, but I have to adjust my expectations for little kids. And now that they're getting older, it's, uh, it's almost like I'm s- almost seeing it in ret- retrospective uh, when they were even smaller. So you have to expect it to be a little bit terrible And then it'll be all right because your expectations will be, you know, expect the worst and you'll get something better, right? So good luck with your little kids. I would love to coach you on them. We love them so much. We don't want to yell at them. And I think the most powerful thing you can do for your little kids is to not yell at yourself after you've yelled at them. That's where you always have to start every single time. After you've yelled at them, you have to tell yourself, it's okay that I yelled. I'm still a good mom. It doesn't mean that I'm a terrible mom. It's not going to ruin them, right? You, You just have to break the cycle of yelling. You yell at them, then you yell at yourself. You yell at them, then you yell at yourself in your head quietly. You just have to start that first with yourself and then you'll be able to start stop it with them. So good luck with that. I'm so happy. It would be happy to coach you on that if you need any help because we do need to kind of get out of our head and like talk through it and figure out ways that 
we it applies to us and figure our personal approach to our kids and our brain. So you can always find me on my website and sign up for a free session, for sessions completely free, uh, at www.coachingnatalia.com and go to sign up for a free mini session or you can simply email me at natalia at coachingnatalia.com and I would love to meet you and chat with you and I hope you're loving your little ones this week today. Okay, guys, love you too. Bye.